Welcome to the Chelsea Fans Channel. It's time for the Daily Chelsea. It's been a while, hasn't it? And we've really missed these. Um, and I'm pretty sure that you haven't seen Jack for a long time. Um, you might notice that he's looking slightly ropey at the moment. <laughs> and that is because we played football together on Sunday. And it was an absolute joy to play with this man. He was a battling midfield general. It was like playing with a combination of Frank Lampard and Dennis Wise in the same team. Oh, it really was. Kind. It really was. Man of the match. Uh, we played against Spencer FC's team. Uh, they beat us. But yeah. man of the match was undoubtedly this guy here. So it really was an honour to play with him. And I think that explains... Uh, the cut on the forehead and the black eye and whatever else is, <laughs> whatever else is going on on that boat race over there. Um, so, yeah, well played, mate. Thank I think you very much, Roy. It really was an, a huge performance. Um, I think the first thing that we need to talk about here is somebody who hasn't had a huge performance for a little while. Yes. And that is Eden Hazard. He, you know, he's been fit for a little while now, mm -hmm. but he hasn't made the starting lineup. If we're going to have a chance to win an FA Cup, you know, Courtois come out and said, we need an FA Cup. He said, we need to be in a final of something, FA yeah, Cup, Champions of League. We're relying on a player like Eden Hazard being firing on all cylinders, aren't we? We are, we are. I think I think it's been easing him back in. Uh, he had the he had the groin injury he picked up against Crystal Palace, um, and that was quite a long time ago. Don't, I think it was the third, first third of January, I think. first game in January. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so uh, over a month ago now. So they've been, you know, they haven't rushed him back by any means. But yeah, like you say, he he's looked like um, the most dangerous player the last couple of games. Um, we've played him when he's come off the bench. Yeah. And I think if he's making the difference off the bench, but without give, being given enough time to, you know, to make that much of an impact on games, he needs to be brought on earlier, then I think, yeah, rehabilitation time's got to be over and we've got to play him. So going into the, 11. you know, we've got a big game against Newcastle on the weekend. Yeah. It gives us a good opportunity to yeah, move further up the league table, but equally think about the future. Think about what happens in these big games in the Cups. Well, Would you start him in that game? Yeah, uh, I mean, look, we're playing PSG, uh, big game coming up. We're not going to win the Premier League this year. Yeah, we're, we've all admitted that we're not going to win the Premier League. We're going to struggle to get into the top four, right? It's not happening, is it? Champions League, um, the Champions League competition this year, you know, starting against PSG, has got to be our number one priority. It's got to be where we throw absolutely everything, including the kitchen sink. Right. And if that means Eden has a start, I mean, that, sorry, that has to mean... Eden has has a start. There's no right. there's no way Chelsea can sort of play it cool on this one. I don't think. So it's time to get him back in the starting line. I think it's got to be, mate. Don't what you? do you guys think? Do you guys think that Hazard he has to start? I mean, I think it's a shame that he hasn't started more games. I think we really needed his ingenuity against mm. Watford. So it would have been nice to see him play there. Um, equally, you know, United. I think that he he deserves more game time. Do you agree? Do you think that he needs to be in the starting lineup moving forward from this point onwards? Um, a player who has had no problems of late. Yeah is the wonderful Diego Costa. Diego. Fantastic form of late. What a, what a turnaround. What a difference. The resurgent what, man, isn't he? What a difference, uh, I was going to say, a day makes, a manager makes, really. I know. And the passion that he shows, though, when he scores goals, it's so good. Yeah, I love that uh, last yeah, minute, know, uh, yeah, that goal gets United. And what was brilliant about that was the way that all the United players, they're all standing around, they're all looking for an excuse. Yeah. Someone wanted to uh, call an offside or something. Yeah. I think even Diego himself had a quick look. But uh, no, fantastic. Battling right to the end. I know. And it's, it's and brilliant. Well form, isn't it? Is it? You know, think about what he did to Arsenal at the Emirates. That was that was magnificent. That yeah. was definitely my moment of the season so far. Uh, he was marvellous yeah. that day, wasn't he? He, he really was brilliant. did single-handedly lead the charge. Equally, against Everton, we got a good three-all. You know, it, it culminated in John Terry's back heel. Yeah. But it was Costa who... who Led the resurgence that day. We were two 0 down. Yeah. Diego Costa took the game by the scruff of the neck and dragged us uh, dragged back us into the game. It's fantastic, you know. He has scored. I think he's got nine goals this season. That's a nine. Awful... Nine. Yeah, and he's opened the scoring in six of those games. Oh, has he? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, so nine. We can't so he's... have asked much more from him. You know, from 2016 onwards, he's been immense. Well, that's that's huge. Nine nine goals and you know opening the scoring. That really is that really is big. And do you know what else is a really interesting one? I saw. I think this is correct. Mm. He is directly responsible for eight points that Chelsea have accrued this season. So wow. eight, eight, eight points are his. He is he is single handedly. That would put us firmly in the bottom three, wouldn't without it? Without his point, yeah. Well, it's it's very impressive, isn't it? When you think of the three points he got against Arsenal, he's got got some point back against Manchester United. Yeah. He is directly responsible for a lot of points that Definitely. we have accrued this season. And when you compare and, and that... The, and the assist as well. Like, yeah. Remember the other day when he really unselfishly set up Oscar? Yeah, against Palace. When he Palace, could have scored yeah, himself. Yeah, he's, so he's really not just about the form. goals. And do you know if you compare that to a player like Harry Kane, who's had a lot of plaudits, and rightly so, but if you compare that to Harry Kane, I think this is correct. If you take Harry Kane's goals out of the Tottenham team, yeah. they, lock, they only drop one point. 
Wow. So Costa is a much more effective He's effective. striker, yeah, is he's, what we're saying. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Slash Tottenham have the better previous 10. Yeah, is it? Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> I, suppose, I suppose that is the way <laughs> yeah. that it looks. But I, I'm just so happy to see Diego Costa firing on all cylinders again. It's really exciting. Yeah. And if we're to have any luck in these cups, him, him being on form is going to be key, isn't it? Oh, yeah, we've got to keep him and we've got to keep him fit. As yes, well, because we are dangerously low in reserves. Yes, and well, we lost another one. Yeah, we lost, we lost Kurt Zuma now. Kurt Zuma's out for six months. He's <sighs> it is an ACL injury. Yeah, which was worse news. You know, we saw, I saw, saw yesterday some of the pictures of of him. <gasps> on the, the back page of the Evening Standard. I was on a tube home. Just jumped on a tube. Grabbed, yeah. the, grabbed the Standard at Oxford Circus, and my the back page. Did you see it? His, with, with his, his, knee, like that. his knee was, oh, it was yeah, awful. Concave. Yeah, it was. It was like a crescent, like a moon crescent, yeah. but going the wrong way of his knee. Really yeah. awful. Um, so it's going to take him a long time to recover. Is. But when I saw on the Sunday night, uh, you know, after we got him from playing football on the Sunday, I saw a picture of Zuma on Twitter and he was on crutches. And I thought, oh, well, maybe, you know, he's up and about. He seems yeah. to be putting a bit of weight on it. Maybe it's not as bad as we thought. Yeah, but then the next scan, day, worse, worse news came true. It was the ACL and not, you know, one of the other tendons or yeah. ligaments in the knee that aren't as bad. Yeah. So, and once you hear those words, it's a crucial gone six, ligament. Gone for six months. You've it's got to feel sorry for the boy. It's However, silver lining, if you can... Not really a silver lining because we're all gutted that Zoom's nope. injured. But silver lining, John Terry, new contract. As, well, I mean, John Terry should be getting a new contract whether Zoom is fit or not. But... true. With Zuma now being out of the side, I just don't see how they can't give Terry a contract. So, uh, yeah, comment below. Let us know what you think. Do you think that Terry will get a new contract? Do you think that Eden Hazard needs to be in the starting lineup more? And what do you think about Diego Costa's form of late? Go on, you blaze. Blaze, cut.